Next, let Travel Channel give you a first-class upgrade as we take you to the most luxurious destinations in the world. I'm Rob Bell, and I'm passionate about finding out how stuff works, from major landmarks to motor transport. Just what are the behind-the-scenes secrets that keep us entertained and keep us on the move? Well, I'm on a mission to find out. Weighing in at 2,100 tonnes, with a height of 135 metres and a circumference of 242 metres, this is the world's largest cantilevered observation wheel. If you laid out all of its spokes in one long line along the ground, you'd have to walk six kilometres to get to the other end. Well, those are the vital statistics. I'm here to find out how it all works. To do that, I'm off for a ride with Kevin Dyer, the eye's head of technical development. The drive mechanism itself, what is it that makes this thing go around? It's surprisingly simple. The drive system is a hydraulic drive system. We have 16 drive motors and gearboxes which attach to the rim. That's driven by two 75 horsepower motors which uh, operate during the day, which gives us a maximum power of 150 horsepower. Liken that to um, a 1600cc car. OK. It's a similar type of power to turn the wheel. So those motors, how do they transfer the motion to get the wheel going round? What you have is a, a drive rim which runs around the entire around the entire wheel. So all the way around the outside the of, the, of the eye itself? All the way around the outside of the eye. And we have 16 pneumatic tyres which drive onto that drive rim and just push it round nice and steadily all day long. So it's kind of wheels with, with tyres on and, they, they just, and it's friction, really, that, that gets the wheel going. That is all it is. An interesting thing about the motors is they only need to push around a maximum weight of 40 tonnes, which is nothing compared to the 2,000 tonne weight of the eye itself. It really is a fantastic structure. I mean, I love the engineering that's behind it all and the simplicity of the drive mechanisms, but most people come up here for one thing, and that's the stunning views across London. 